and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, record with your Dazzle DVD recorder with uh, Pinnacle Studios and how to edit it. Alright, well, we'll click on Pinnacle uh, Launcher here. Um, this should pop up. Um, these two things I don't use right here. I don't use those. I don't know why, I just don't use them. So, if I um, go over here, <coughs> click this. This should pop up. I close that. I don't know why, but this pops up to load up. Give it a second. There it goes. Um, this always comes to editor mode. I don't know why. Just ignore it. Um, it's weird. Oh well. Alright. You just go to capture. And uh, mine pops up because I don't have anything turned on on my Dazzle. Um, you per right now using composite, I'd highly recommend um, using uh, S video. It's a lot better quality, a lot better quality, a lot more money, but or like fifty bucks more. But it's worth it. It's worth it. All right, um, should be right there. But for some reason, my Dazzle didn't show that I had uh, audio, so I had to buy an adapter that turns AV into speaker wire. So that wasn't a big problem. It's a five dollar thing, cheap, you know, but it works. I get co good quality sound. But here, let me turn on my DVD player. Here, hold on. Uh. All right, it's not coming up. Where is it? Usually, if you open this and then press OK, it usually troubleshoots it to get it to work. I don't know why that was weird. Um, where is it? There it is. Okay, now you can go here to start capturing. You can do set a time or something or tell it to stop. Then you can go edit it here, which personally I, I don't like to do. You can change the what it looks, you know, drag and drop your videos and watch it. Personally, I don't do it because I use Windows Movie Maker. It's a lot easier. Or, yeah, I just use Windows Movie Maker. It's a lot easier than doing this crap. I don't I don't understand what this one is. I've never used it, never tried, don't want to. So um let me get back over here. There we go. Let me close out. Let me show you something. Alright, let me go to movie maker. Alright. Open this you open movie maker up. Well, let me get a timeline. There we go. Alright. You get the videos and right now I don't have anything because I've deleted all my old videos. And you just drag open file, drag and drop, then you can put sounds, put narrate. Like right now I'm narrating in with Movie Maker right now. So, um you can do whatever you want with that. You can also um use Vegas Sony Vegas Pro if you have it. I have it. And I would highly recommend getting it. It is cheaper than most. It's I think it's six hundred dollars. Um but it's good for um I uh, uh just starting to make a movies, a lot of good effects in there. I, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it if you're just doing what I'm doing, but it's a good it's a good program. It is, but very expensive. This is more for making movies and editing higher end movies. 